Greetings comrades, Multi Game Master one reporting in and welcome back to Let's Play 100% Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we completed everything in Witchy World and in this episode, we're going to find the entrance to World 4. We're back here at the Isle of Hags Plateau because as you may recall from a few episodes ago, there were two switches that Banjo and Kazooie can press individually to open up this door over here. So we're going to have them split up for a while and have them press down on the switches so that we can open the door. Also, in order to travel from one section of the Isle of Hags to the next, Banjo and Kazooie have to be together, otherwise you'll be denied access. Come on Kazooie, don't leave me in this world alone. So before you go from one world to the next, make sure Banjo and Kazooie are together, otherwise you're not going to be going anywhere. Now here in the Isle of Hags cliff top, we will find a couple of things, and we'll start off with a new move from Jam Jars. Ice Eggs. Freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. So now we can use ice eggs. These eggs are useful for freezing targets for a short time. Very useful indeed. That'll be all. Dismissed. Thank you, Jam Jars. We'll definitely make good use of these ice eggs in the future. Now something else we can find. If we move along this ledge, we will eventually come to a train switch which we will go ahead and press down and open up the giant doors so that we can use the Isle of Hags cliff top as a means of a train station for Chuffy the Train to go to. Now we can make our way back. By the way, if you fall off at any point within the cliff top, it is an instant death and it will restart you back to the Jinjo village, making your travels back to the point in which you left off pretty tedious, so be careful and try not to fall off. Also another thing I forgot to note, this game has no lives whatsoever, so no matter how many times you die, you'll never get a game over unless you choose to quit the game yourself. Now let's see, a couple of things we can find, there was Mumble's skull back there, but we're not going to worry about that just yet couple more uggers, and a silo right here that we will activate so that we can travel back here whenever we want to as a means of a shortcut. Down here we will find a stone switch, which, if we press down, it will activate a bridge that connects the cliff top to that stone structure over there. And you guys have already seen it, but there is a jigsaw altar right next to the door on that stone structure, which means that the passageway behind that door could connect us to another world, but we can't get to it at the moment, but we will soon, once we have enough jiggies. Right now, I'm just going to go over to the stone structure right now and pick up whatever it is that we can collect off of this structure. Such as these notes. There are 20 of these to be found. Four batches worth. And up there, once we make our way to the top, we will find a globo which we will go ahead and take. And I would go back to Mumble's skull over there to see what kind of magic he performs within this area, but he really can't activate the magic at the moment and it's not really necessary, so I'm just going to hold on to it for something else. Now over there we have our entrance to World 4, to Yi Lagoon. And here's a signpost which we will read. Come visit the charming resort of Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Hire a wave racer from Blubbers. Shop at Pono's or drop in at Jolly's for a refreshing ginger beer. Fun for all the family. That does indeed sound like fun. Let's go on in. Welcome to World 4, Jolly Roger's Lagoon. Simply put, it's Lagoon owned by Jolly Roger. Now to start things off, you want to pay attention to these bulged areas and use the bill drill on them to collect something like this. This is a double loon. They are the only currency accepted in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Yes, yeah, so keep an eye for these bulge spaces and you'll get the double loons inside. It's important that you grab these double loons for a couple of things that you can purchase from the lagoon itself. And I'm going to do my best to grab as many as I can. There are a total of 30 of the double loons to be found within Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And once you collect them all, you will get something cool, which I will try to show a little later. By the way, that chest had a crack, and if you shot a grenade at it, it will reveal two split-up pads that we will use a little bit later. Let's see, any more bulge spaces? Here's one right here. Some of the bulge spaces will contain doubloons. 
Others will contain shock jump disc pads. Let's see, where can we go from here? How about we go in here first? Jolly's in. But before we explore the area, if you look through this window right here, you'll see a barrel of gunpowder. If you shoot at it with a grenade, it'll create a hole in the wall, which connects to a secret passageway within Jolly Roger's Lagoon. And yeah, I'm really not going to pay for the damages whatsoever. But what's beyond the secret passageway, you may ask? We're going to cover it in another episode, another time. Here we have Jolly Roger himself. Oh, hello there. I'm Jolly Roger town mayor and proprietor of this lovely harborside inn. We'd like a ginger beer, please. I'd love to oblige, but I'm less than jolly at the moment as my partner's gone missing. That's a shame. Now how about that drink? Kazooie! Oh, sorry. Where did you last see her? She was out on a wave racer early yesterday evening. I heard a big gulping noise, and when I got outside, she was gone. Perhaps she was eaten by a vicious sea demon. Oh, I hope not. It's happy hour soon, and I'll be needing some help. Would you like to rent a room? It's half price at two doubloons, as this naughty mole has dug a hole in the corner of it. How about it? I. Okay, big boy, show me the money. Big boy? Lovely. I'll just open the door for you, okay? And now we rent a room in Jolly's Inn. Cheers, but how can you possibly sleep while my partner is still missing? Well, we really can't. In fact, we really weren't intent on sleeping while your partner was missing. But we're going to do what we can to help. Also, a fun little thing you can do, you can actually shoot this door down with a grenade and you can get inside the room for free. However, Jolly will scold you for that, but either way, you'll have the rooms yourself. Now in here, we'll find Jam Jars. Sub Aqua Egg Gaming. When in the water and baddies attack, this new move will let you shoot back. Press Y for the aiming sight, followed by left trigger or right trigger to start a fight. That'll be all. Dismissed. Ouch. Jam Jars, you really need to fix up those silos. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a massive headache. Now, over here, on the corner, we will find a jukebox that's broken. I'm afraid our jukebox is broken at the moment. A real pity. I just love dancing to the salty semen shanty. Perhaps you'll find a way to fix it. Maybe. As soon as we figure out how. In this room, we'll find Captain Black Eye. Avast, dear, ye scurvy dogs! I be Captain Black Eye, fearless pirate and scourge of the seas! You're looking a tad wobbly there, Blacky. Just a touch of seasickness, ye filthy rats! Seasick? Some pirate you are! Watch your tongue, buzzard! Something really cool and funny happens if you talk to him three times, and I'll show you. Shiver me timbers! These seasick tablets Jolly gave me are mighty useless! I wonder why. Splice the main brace! One more press of that thar button and I'll run ye through! You think I'm scared, you see, Pickle? Right! I'll slit your... Ooh, me poor stomach. Just take these doubloons and fetch me another glass of water. So after talking to him three times, you get two doubloons from him, and he'll finish whatever is in that cup and fall over. Notice the way he wobbles, by the way. It looks like he's drunk. Seriously, Rare and Nintendo, this is an E-rated game. You call this E-rated? At best, I rate it PG-13. I mean, in E-rated games, you can't really expect characters to be drunk. And also look over here, ginger beer, seriously? Beer is not present in E-rated games, only higher rated games. I don't know what Rare and Nintendo were thinking, but I'm really not going to question it whatsoever. Alright, let's make our way to the top of Jolly Roger's Inn, so that we can get up to the shock jump disc pad and make good use of it to reach that ledge up here. 
You'll find a special reward at the end of this. So just move along the ledge and get past the two snapdragons that guard your way. The first one was back there and the second one is right over here. Not hard to spot at all really. And at the end of this path, you'll find an extra honeycomb piece on the top of this pipeline, which we will go ahead and take. And if we make our way to this alcove, we'll find a signpost which we will read. Banjo, thank you. Skull, beach, beach, skull. I honestly have no idea what that means, but we'll keep it in mind. Here is Piggles. Help us sort out our pool, Mr. Bear. What's wrong with it? Looks fine to me. We want to go swimming, but the water is polluted and icy cold. Hmm, this one may take some time. And over here we have Trotty. Please fix the pool. Pickles pushed me in the other week. And look what's happened to my arm. Well, I didn't want to say anything. Thanks. I'm a little touchy about it, as you might expect. Freako! That was a nice Kazooie. Be respectful of people. More doubloons for us to grab. And as you just heard the kids saying right now, they have a problem with the pool that they were about to swim to. It's polluted and icy cold. So we're going to go ahead and take care of one of the problems that we can do right away. And that's the pollution. We can simply do something about it if we use the build drill here and gain access to the pipeline inside. Basement, waste disposal plant. I reckon we'll find the source of the waste disposal somewhere in here. Is that a Jinjo? No, that's a Minjo! It must die! Those things are really good at deceiving you. Now, at the top of here, we'll find feathers, eggs, and a honeycomb. Pretty useful. Toxic waste disposal. This must be the source. If we press the switch, we should be able to shut it off. Yeah, that's right, guys. I'm going green. Going green to the extreme. Hey, I just realized that rhymed. <laughs> that takes care of the pollution problem. No more filth in the water. Thanks, giant teddy bear. Now our water is crystal clear. So that takes care of one of the problems with the pool, the pollution. But now we have another problem. Apparently, to the kids, the pool is icy cold. So we're going to have to do something about that as well. Of course, if the pool was icy cold, then Banjo and Kazooie's air meter would have been depleted faster than what it normally does. Just like when you go through the winter version of Click Clock Wood in Banjo and Kazooie. But it's not really all that happening, so it's not really all that cold. But if the kids say it's cold, then it's cold, so we'll find a way to warm it up. By the way, you can't use fire eggs to warm up the water. It's more complicated than that. In fact, we're going to have to rely on something even hotter to warm up the water. Once we come across it, we'll cover it. In here, inside the Turtle View Cave, we'll find some more doubloons for us to grab. And now if we get a good look here, we will indeed see a turtle. For some reason, he looks familiar. I wonder if there's a way that we can get to him so we can talk to him. By the way, I didn't cover this in Witchy World, but there are certain moves that Jam Jars can teach you only when Banjo and Kazooie are separated from each other, and it doesn't even matter if you have enough notes. And this is an example. It ain't happening, lady! You need to get rid of Lardy Boy before you learn this one. Fair enough. Yes, yeah, so no matter how many notes you have, even if you have enough, there are certain moves that Jam Jars will teach to Banjo or Kazooie if they're separated from each other. And sorry about the sudden game freeze there, I don't know what happened. But now we're just going to have Banjo and Kazooie split up for a while and have Kazooie go back into the Turtle View cave so that she can learn the next move of the game. So let's go ahead and make our way back over there right now. And why Kazooie can't learn the move while Banjo and Kazooie are together, I really don't understand, but that's the way the game is programmed. Wing Whack. You've lost the safety that Banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. 
Roll them around by pressing X. A useful attack, I think you'll agree. That'll be all. Dismissed. Thanks, Jam Jars. So now Kazooie can defend herself with her wings, and we won't have to use the eggs. There's also one other thing that Kazooie can do, and that's to make good use of this shock jump disc pad right here, and have her reach the alcove to pick up three more doubloons. And now that that's accomplished, let's have Banjo and Kazooie reunite together, and go elsewhere within Jolly Roger Lagoon. How about we check out that Wave Racer shop right there, Wave Racer Hire. Let's go on in and see what we can get. In here we'll find a couple of things, such as notes, a few Wave Racers that are out of order, and this signpost right here. Legend has it that goldfish hold the secret to fast swimming. Well, we already figured that out from Royce and the goldfish back in Spiral Mountain. Over here we have our good friend Captain Blubber. Ahoy there, it be your old shipmate, Captain Blubber. How you going, me hearties? Bit of a hard day, really. Aye, these adventures are all the same. So many places to go and things to find. Beat standing around, though. How's business, Blubber Guts? Not good, land lovers. All me wave racers are shipwrecked. And the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Perhaps we can lend you a double loon or two. Nah, shipmates. But I will sell ye me last possession for just one double loon. How about it, me hearties? Do you want my last possession for one double loon? Aye. Here you go. Arr, he's a good on banjo. Have a look inside this ear crate. Thanks, shipmates. I'll be off to Jolly's for their quiz night. There'll be 1,000 doubloons up for grabs, and if I win, I'll be having me a fine new flying machine. Well, good luck with that, Captain Blubber. I wish you all the best. Behind here, we'll find a shock jump disc pad which we can use to reach the raptors and recover the last red Jinjo. The red Jinjo family is complete. They'd like you to have this. Now let's check the contents of the crate. It has turbo trainers, which we will use to skim across the water surface over here and recover the white Jinjo on the alcove. There is only one white Jinjo that you can find in the game, so you'll get the Jiggy rather easily. The white Jinjo family is complete. He'd like you to have this. And also down here, we'll find some more double loons, which we will go ahead and grab. If I can possibly do it. Okay, there we go. Now, let's make our way back to shore. And yes, guys. This may be all there is to Jolly Rogers Lagoon, but don't be fooled. There is still a lot more of Jolly Rogers Lagoon to go, as you will see in the next episode, as soon as I wrap things up on the shore. So, for right now, where can we go next? How about we go into Mumbo Skull next? Because we still have a Globo, and we can use his magic. More double loons that we can grab. And after grabbing all of them, you get a Gamer Pick. You got all the double loons! Well done! Just for that, you can have a new Gamer Picture. Yes, yeah, so in the Xbox Live Arcade version, once you get all of the double loons, you'll get a Gamer Picture. But in the N64 version, nothing really happens. And like I said before, there are 30 total double loons for you to find within Jolly Rogers Lagoon, so keep an eye out. Now here in the beach, we have a brand new enemy known as a Keel Haw. It's basically a Sailor Grublin Pirate that will come after you and swing at you with its club the moment he sees you. And here we have Tip Top. Oh, I don't know what to do. What seems to be the problem, Tip Top? It's my baby. He's about 32 weeks late. Can you help? Can't you just sit on it and hatch it? I'm a reptile, not a bird. He's supposed to get out himself. Well, that's a shame. It's too bad we can't do anything about it just yet. But once we find a way to help out Tip Top in his current situation, we'll come back and help him. For now, let's go ahead and go upstairs and check on Mumbo. Try and ask for his help if we possibly can. 
Mumbo, what's up? Guess what? We've got a Gobo for you. So now, you can take it and help us out with your magic. Mumbo's magic for Jolly Roger's Lagoon is particularly useful for exploring the rest of Jolly Roger's Lagoon, as you will see as soon as we make our way to Mumbo's path. And you've seen it already, it's close to the water. So we're going to make our way over there right now with us having control of Mumbo. The disc pad is not far from here. In fact, it's straight ahead as you see right here. Now let's perform the magic. Hope this works. Sunlight. Oxygenated water. The magic is redirected to the sun. And... It redirects the sunlight to the oxygenated water. Now why is the magic useful? You'll find out right now. Mumbo shine big light on water. It now has plenty oxygen. Bear and bird not need to hold breath in there now. Yes, so Mumbo's magic is useful in Jolly Roger's Lagoon because it provides more oxygen in the already oxygenated water, so Banjo and Kazooie can swim around in the water without having to lose air whatsoever. And this will be useful, in fact it is required that you do this, so that you can explore the rest of Jolly Roger's Lagoon as I have already explained. But we're going to cover that in the next episode. Right now there is one other thing that I want to do, and that's to go inside this shop, Pono's Emporium. Now in here we'll find a Jiggy in a case, some notes for us to grab, and I hear a Gobo someplace, where is he? There he is, or she, or it. I don't really know what gender that is, or if it's an it. Also, get a look at this shop. We have a Banjo-Kazooie crate, a picture of Brantilda. I wonder what's happened to her. Well, only Rare and Nintendo know. And on the shelf over there, we have the returning Grunty Witch doll. Why that's there exactly? It's probably up for display. Now, let's talk to Pono here. Greetings, friend. The name's Pono. I'm the local pawnbroker. We're interested in that Jiggy in the case. Ah yes, a real nice piece circa Banjo-Kazooie, so I was told. I reckon 20 gold doubloons would be a fair price. 20 doubloons? Really want the Jiggy, not your whole shop. Well, luckily we have that amount, so let's talk to him again. It's still 20 doubloons for the Jiggy. Would you like to buy it? What do you say? I say I. Right, friend. Let's see some gold. A pleasure doing business. Please, help yourselves. Watch how slowly he types away at the cash register and opens it up so that he can put the money away. Well, at least it's done now. And after that, we get the jiggy. You can also get a Cheeto page from Pono. All you have to do is to re-enter the shop after you leave for the first time, and you'll see it in the case right there. Let's find out how much it costs. Hello again. How much for the worthless old page? Far from worthless, my friend. I was told that page comes from the legendary Cheeto book. Are you sure? Oh yes. I'm afraid I won't take less than five doubloons for it. I don't get quality like that in here every day. So I see. Well, we have seven doubloons, so we'll go ahead and purchase it. Welcome back. The page is still available if you want it. I'm sure it would still be here next year. It would still be five doubloons. Do I have a sale? What do you say? I say I. Right, friend. Let's see some gold. A pleasure doing business. Please, help yourselves. So, um, nice day we're having today. The sun is shining, the water is clear. Anything you want to do afterwards? Okay, I see you don't want to start a decent conversation. Well, whatever. Here's the Cheeto page that we get. And on that note, we're out of time for this episode, so we're going to end things off here. 
In the next episode, however, we are going to check out the underwater depths of Jolly Rogers Lagoon. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and until the next episode, this is Multigame Master 1, over and out. See you later, comrades!